it's different. It's a whole different game. Give me a good gym story. A good gym story. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, Bulletproof? Brandon Glitton, he just fought. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul he G. fought Robert Garcia, That's- Boxing Academy. Uh, he's yeah. got some relationship. He fought in Minnesota. Yeah, that's yeah, he just he just beat one of the top cruiserweights, you know, uh ranked in WBA. Me and him is like we kind of like gym bros, like we got together, but when I was we had he posted me and I never forgot it. And he, you know, he posted me on the story and everything. I remember it. And I, at the time I wasn't really back truck, so nobody really knew who I was. So it was like, dang, good shot, but he posted me. So we, you know, fast simulate, I want to say five years, six years later, we sparred. That's actually last year we sparred. And you could tell he, his mind, he like, man, I hurt this kid. This kid ain't nothing. I, I'm, I'm about to show this ain't no work. I'm about to just go ahead and do my thing. And we sparred. And we were supposed to do six rounds, but he kept going to another one, another one. No, we did end up doing 10 rounds that day. But it was just me showing him that I'm not that same kid from 17 years ago. And after that, it was like I gained his respect. We started training every day. We sparred rounds and rounds. After that day, it was like, okay, yeah, you different. You, you the truth now. I, I respect you. Let's now we working together. We train together, and it's like now he like my gym bro. Like we call him all the time. But it was like that day. I felt like I earned his respect, and and it was I even did the, the gym. The war. It was it was war. Like the sparring was was so crazy. Like the gym was packed. The gym was hot. First Everyone's around the ring. Everyone's around the ring. It was so crazy that nobody recorded it. Everybody was just watching. Like oh shit. Like as it's Everybody was so in tune to what was going on. And it was like, my coach, this is my first time I coach him. It's my first time I ever seen you do 10 rounds. Usually you do six and you're done. But you did eight. We got we did seven, one more. Eight. My coach is like, we had eight. How you feel? I said, I feel good. We did nine. And then so all the, all his coach and my coach was like, all right, this is the last round. We got to tell this is the last round no matter what. And we just, we got it in. It was like, after that, it was like, my coach even looked at me different. Like, hey, boy, you can go 10 rounds. And it was during, it was actually during COVID. Like, COVID was fresh. Like, it was fresh, I want to say, probably about April. So my coach, he was like, I know you ain't been running. You've been in the house playing the game. There's not, and I, I was like, Coach, I've been running. Like I, You asked me, I've been in the house working. I've still been running. I've still been doing everything. So we came, came back. He was like, dang, he was surprised. He, it, was, it, was, it was, if you was there, you would saw, like, that, that moment. That moment for everybody was like, that's crazy. And that's when my coach looked at me like, you can do something. I, I like that. I like this. And that was kind of just, like, a great moment that, that me, my coach, and me and Brandon had that we – well i get what you're saying even though like you painted a picture well you were in with a guy who thought he was gonna big bro you and then he was doing he was doing that one more round thing thinking okay now my veteran experience is gonna take over now i'm gonna get my little thing and we're gonna break him and then you just kept keeping up with him and i think in his mind he goes oh wow he didn't hit that point where he just he he caved he stayed with me and then that yeah. became the motivation for you to bond more. Yeah. And I was like, man, we, we train every day. You know what I'm saying? We, I talked, I said, just talked to him for like two hours the other day. Like we talk all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's number love now, you know? So that's, that, that story right there was kind of like, like, I like, that's that's one of the best gym stories that, what's one of the best gym stories that, that happened after this point? Well, when you get a big fight, I can imagine you retelling that story and maybe even getting Brandon there to, share that because that seems like a memory that should be reflected on before i get you out of there let's get a hot take you brought up malik scott what do you think of all the stuff we won't talk about the controversy but all the stuff around wilder now with malik scott how do you think that will affect a future fight